Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. There's some drama going on between Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, and Swiss's baby mama, Jonna Sebastian. Now, just to get you all caught up on who Jonna is and how she came into the picture, Jonna is a singer from the UK and Swiss had an affair with her when he was married to his first wife, Mashonda. Now, Jonna did say that she had no clue that Swiss was even married to Mashonda. She said in her interview with Madame Noir that I was not aware of him being married at the time. I thought he was single like myself and he acted like a single man. He is not that well known here anyway at the time. His private life was nowhere near as publicized in 2007 as it is now. She also said in her interview with Madame Noir that she found out that he was married when it was too late. When Swiss Beast went back to the US, she did discover that she was pregnant with their daughter, Nicole. And the story got crazier because when she found out she was pregnant, she had to be detained during her pregnancy due to immigration issues, but she didn't reach out to Swiss Beats for help. She actually suffered through the process alone. She said, when I was unlawfully detained for two months by a major mistake of home office while being pregnant with Nicole, I came out of it without her father's help or even child support at the time, even though I knew from the start who the father was. If I made claims at that time, it would have created a scandal all over the place and caused a divorce so I chose the hard way I dealt with my immigration problems which were actually Nicole's as well since she could only stay in the UK as a dependent without bothering Swiss or anyone on the other side with lawsuits so Jonna went through these immigration issues by herself and she didn't want to say anything because she knew that Swiss Beast was married now Mashonda did later on find out about Jonna and the daughter that Swiss had with her outside of the marriage but she didn't criticize Jonna because she knew that Jonna had no clue that Swiss was married to her when they had their affair. Now Swiss Beats as we all know had another affair that was very public. He had an affair with the singer Alicia Keys but the difference between Alicia and Jonna is Alicia knew that Swiss was married when she started messing with him. So there you have it that's the very messy messy backstory to this whole situation but unfortunately there's still some more mess going on because Jonna is currently at odds with Alicia and Swiss Beats and she called them out on social media now she first threw subliminals at Alicia by posting an article from Oprah.com saying 12 things a stepmother should never say she said in her caption funny enough found this on Oprah's own website this is the rule in my family. I am the only mother to my child. I am the only one raising her who gave her life, British citizenship, knowledge, and everything else. I am not only the biological mother, I am the mother. This will remain forever. I am the only one who feeds her, is raising her, who came out through the hard times with her and for her, taught her to be a great human being and everything about life. I am the only mother to my daughter. No one else will be called any kind of mom name in English, Arabic, not in Umi or Omi, I guess that's how it's pronounced, or anything else in other language by her. I will not let nobody bribe her and change her by using material things against me. iPhones and other things. She will be raised as a human being who cares for humanity and stands by the right principles. I will go far and beyond for my child as I've always done. Nicole has never called another man daddy or any other name that means father. No man has ever tried to replace or act as a second father to her overstepping boundaries and making decisions on behalf of her real father. My rights and standing must be respected in return the same way. In front of God, money doesn't matter. The power and purity of the soul is what matters. Now, somebody in the comment section said, man, Alicia, and she said, yes. So this whole post was about Alicia overstepping her boundaries as a step parent. And Jonna was really upset about this and she decided to put the whole tea on blast. This is what she posted on Instagram. Now, bear with me, this is a very long post, but here we go. It's Christmas time and we need some Christmas tea. This is what she said. I usually use my social media and platforms to share my knowledge, inspiration, music, and the new musical book I'm writing. I'm not into drama. However, at this point, I am fed up. 
first of all, to clarify, Nicole lives in the UK with me her entire life, and I'm the one raising her on a daily basis. I gave her and sorted out her British citizenship as we were both refugees. The step parent is not raising my child. In fact, she even got in the way of things in the past, which I have been quiet about. This step parent got an iPhone X in the US that she controls for my daughter, Nicole created an Apple ID attached to her own Apple ID under family sharing, has Apple store purchase permissions on behalf of my child attached to her account, all without my consent. When I'm Nicole's real and only mother, it is clearly stated on Apple's website that an Apple ID for minors can only be created with the consent from the parent and usually under the family sharing of the parent. Apps and Apple Store purchases can only be done with the parental consent. Mobile phone companies require the parent to sign contracts to obtain mobile phones for their children as there are multiple laws in place to protect the child's privacy. Nowhere does it say create an Apple ID for your stepchild. A step parent, regardless of the name in English, does not have any legal rights to give any consent, sign paperwork, or online agreements on behalf of the child and must consult the parent. Even the schools require parental consent for the child to use computers during lessons. It has never been done in this case. Nobody asked for my permission. This step parent does not even respond to calls or emails and recently pretended she didn't know who was on the line when my phone number was stored in her phone under my name. Now, see, Alicia, I got to call you out for this. How are you trying to make decisions for Jonna's child when you don't even have a relationship with Jonna? You mean to tell me you don't talk to her? You act like she doesn't exist? Really? I'm sorry, that's messed up to me. And I think that Swiss should do a better job in trying to create some liaison between the mothers because they both are raising children who happen to be siblings. So there should be better communication there. Anyway, let me get back to what Jonna was saying. Furthermore, this step parent has violated my recent decision to temporarily restrict Nicole's access to some social media like TikTok for disciplinary purposes because it was affecting her studies and in order to get her more into reading books and learning about humanity through real life instead of becoming a spoiled child only interested in material things and social media likes also for the protection of children who are very vulnerable online as soon as nicole traveled to us i found out that her tiktok account has been restored without my consent not only is this an attempt to bribe my child with an iphone apple id access to social media but it's also a manipulation against my parenting which can get the child confused she does not communicate with me about nicole at all for the record it's not about a better or bigger gift i was gonna give nicole an iphone 11 at some point which i've already purchased but it is trying to get liked by a child by pretending to be caring while overriding and disregarding the mother's wishes i want my child to be raised well educated well read and passionate about caring for those in need around the world someone who can contribute to society in a positive way i am very careful about social media as it can be both uplifting and mentally challenging for a child there are many dangers in regards to self-esteem of the child connected to the new era of social media i have succeeded in that for a long time but then after the last trip i received my child back who was obsessed with social media, likes and followers, clothes and material things after close communication with this step parent. What kind of influence is that on my child? Not only has she been disrespecting me as a parent, violated the laws in both countries, the UK and the US, but she is also destroying my child's upbringing that I have worked so hard to maintain. Also, there has been a violation of my own privacy. Nicole has signed into the iCloud account created by this step parent in US on the phone and iPad I bought here in the UK. These are the devices under my name. I purchased them. Nicole has also taken photos and videos of me while using this Apple ID. Not only this made my private information accessible to this step parent without my consent or prior knowledge on the phone she got for Nicole in the US where it was left, it also gave access to location of the devices here, which means access to my own location. At the same time as the iPhone appeared, the step parent started having Nicole 
calling her Yumi, which means mother in Arabic, even though I've stated multiple times throughout the years that I do not agree with any kind of mom name for another person. I have spoken about it to her family members. It was made very clear. Nicole's brothers call me by my name, Jana. All the other mothers are called by their names. Nicole calls them by their name, even though she has spent time around them too, and they do have love for her. If this step parent was truly for women empowerment, caring for the sisters and equality, then she wouldn't separate her status from all the other three women, wouldn't be violating another woman's rights, especially disrespecting mother's rights, or do things instead of the mother, like creating my child's Apple ID without speaking to her mother first. Her attitude and actions prove the opposite in real life. Also, this step parent never responds to emails or phone calls herself. Instead, she complains to the family members around to get them to attack, which is a very low and cowardly tactic. P.S. I'm writing this to shed some light on a situation that has been ongoing behind the scenes. While there is a fake idea of the blended family that is promoted using my child for publicity, in reality, there is total disrespect of another woman and motherhood going on. Also in the family, whenever you speak up, they are trying to shut you down as if the only opinion that matters is of the particular step parents. Many are afraid to say something. This this is the reality. I'm not interested in going on blended vacations. I pay for and go on my own vacations all the time. I have moved on in regards to my personal life also. This is strictly a parenting and personal issue. I will not allow her to steal my child. It is about motherhood. And if you respect motherhood, you will understand. If not, then maybe it is about time you take a close look at your soul. Whew. That was a lot to read. Now, Swiss Beats did respond to Jana and he said, first of all, Nicole does not have her own phone. Second, that's my phone I don't use, so she could call you instead of calling my phone looking for her. Third, nobody forced Nicole to call them anything. She chose to call her Umi or Omi or Yumi, however you say it. I will not let any of my kids do things they don't want to do, period. Fourth, we just spoke on the phone and you had none of this to say. You was all sweet and kind. You know my number. If you have a problem, call me. Knock it off. Thank you. Also, why is it that every time you post these things, you include your music in the post directly after and all the things you've done like it's a competition? Asking for a friend. Whew. Jonna did reply to Swiss and this is what she said. Stop it. I post my music all the time. It's the other person who has been copying and competing for many years. We have not been on the phone right now. You tried to shut me down in a text. Why is it you only bringing up my music in a situation like this? As if you don't know, I post music all the time. Swiss said, you have my number. If you have a problem or any questions, please call me as an adult. It's 2020. Line is always open. She said, yes, I do. And every time we speak about it, you keep shutting me down and shouting. He said, so when we just spoke before Nicole came to New York, did you say any concern? No. And she said, why doesn't your wife call me as an adult or at least answer my texts or calls? And you are the one always coming after me with shouting on her behind every time I try to communicate with her. Is she not an adult? Yet you are never happy about me talking to Mashonda or Nicole or Nasir's mother. Oops. Swissbeat said, I'm not going back and forth with you on Insta. You know my number. She said, yes, I do. Every time I speak about these issues to you, you never listen. You shout and try to shut me down. At least try to listen to the other side as an adult. It cannot always be one-sided. So Jonna basically aired all of this information out because she was tired of getting shut down by Swiss. Apparently she has had many talks with him, but he refuses to listen. So instead she tried to talk to Alicia, 
but Alicia refuses to answer her texts or calls. And it's also frustrating that Swiss is not making the communication between the mothers any easier. But if Swiss is not gonna step up, I think Alicia needs to make the effort to reach out to Jonna because Jonna doesn't know Alicia at all and she's very protective of her child because she is the only girl in the family. So she definitely has an interest in the type of woman Alicia is and the type of influence she may have over her daughter. So I don't think she's overreacting about this. Now, I don't necessarily agree with her putting this on blast on social media, but I do understand where her frustration lies. And apparently there are some people who agree, including the mother of Swiss his oldest son she said speak your truth it's liberating and it will liberate others it's about respect truth will always come to light Mashonda herself also had issues with Alicia overstepping her boundaries in the past she said this in an interview she did with sister to sister magazine Alicia knew about me 100% Swiss introduced me at prior events they were signed to the same record company she knew and I emailed her and asked her to stop doing what she was doing and she disregarded me just like she disregarded me when I asked her to not have my son thinking it was okay to call her Yumi or Omi you're not his Yumi you just met my son Yumi means mommy in Arabic. I'm like, no. So Alicia does have a history of overstepping her boundaries as a stepmother. And Mashonda did eventually come around after she took the time to establish a relationship with Alicia. But Jana has not yet had the opportunity to establish a relationship with Alicia. She hardly even knows Alicia, which is why she feels some type of way about her trying to regulate what her daughter can do. And I'm sure she notices the influence that Alicia has on her daughter and she feels a little threatened because Alicia is the cool step parent. She's the lenient one, she's the fun one. And a lot of times in these situations, the child ends up gravitating more to the step parent than they do their actual parent. So I think that Jonna feels a little threatened, but I don't believe she's bitter. I do believe that she has a real issue with Alicia overstepping. And she also has an issue with how Alicia is regarded in the family because it seems as if Alicia is put on a higher pedestal than the other mothers because she's actually the wife. Swiss puts her on a high pedestal and he's quick to defend her, even if it means going against his other children's mothers. So the other mothers have to compromise, but honestly, I think in order for things to go smoothly between Jonna, Swiss, and Alicia, they have to have a sit down conversation and learn how to effectively co-parent together. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.